Nate G219, the hell of a vacuum better. Hope everybody's doing great, feeling great, you know what it is. Just another episode, man. Um, you know, today I'm just gonna kind of bull crap around about prison life. <coughs> Goofy dog. He's got ADHD just like me. But, um, you know, just, just a little, uh, BSing about what the monotony of prison life is. All right. First of all, you got county. Now, county, depending on where you go, can be very, very, very boring. Like, for example, where I was. Porter County Jail. All right. It's not a very big jail, but they do have a federal housing facility within it. They get the funding for federal inmates, whatnot, whatever. But, um, man, man, do I hate county jail. Most people do. That, that excitement to get the heck out of county to go to prison is a real excitement. Regardless of how scared you are of where you're going, it's better than where you are. Talk about, you know, three horrible meals a day. The rudest cops that think they're big badasses, whatever, you know, most of them are jokes and because of our county being mostly nonviolent, a lot of drugs, most mostly drug related thefts, things like that. Yeah, we do get some murders here in this county, but not very often. And usually those inmates are clowns. I mean, we've had a few real ones, but most of the ones that have caused the death are clowns. I've done a couple stories on him. Casper, he's a clown. But um, then you know you get you get a lot of in a in a minimum jail. You got a lot of grab ass, a lot of games that get played. You know, but then you go to prison and those games aren't tolerated. And a lot of people going to prison for the first time don't know that. They think they're going to be able to play around like they were playing around in the jail they were in. That depends what jail you were in. Because there's a lot of very serious jails in this country. A lot of very serious county jails. Where you'll go in and never leave. This is not likely to be one of them. Unless you take your own life. Which a few have in the... 20 couple 20 plus years it's been open a couple have taken their life not very many but the conditions aren't horrible but one channel man and it's fox which i don't mind fox but i mind tmz i mind or minded wendy williams you know that being a daily routine you schedule your day around how many glasses of coffee you're drinking by the time Wendy Williams comes on or whatever the next talk show was. Um, there's been some bad ones. Y'all know that. But unless there's NCAA tournaments, you know, NBA finals or whatever, they do not change the channel for any reason whatsoever. It is on Fox. But that kind of creates a... We don't have a choice. Nobody's going to be fighting over what channel we're watching. It kind of eliminates certain issues. Understandable. Now you go to prison, it's a different ball game. You got two TVs. Well, in the minimum medium where I was, in the day room, there was two TVs. But every person was allowed to get their own TV. It was just under $200 at the point I was there. I think 180 or 185 and you could have them, but that was only because we were attached to a maximum security penitentiary. That's where I was. But again, monotony. But there you had channels. You could watch every week they had movies that came out that you could watch, new releases, you know, all that. You know, trying to make your time as comfortable as possible. But that minimum medium security camp, 350 people, man, just not large enough to house somebody that that's like me i it's just not meant for places for people like me which 
I, I ended up being okay with it in the long run because it made me the man I am today. But the monotony in prison, man. Go behind the wall. You know, I went to that minimum medium. I was in an open dorm. Pretty much free to roam around 24 hours a day. After 10 o'clock, you know, they really only want you going to the bathroom. But depending on the guard, you can pretty much do what you want. Anyways, hit that like and subscribe, by the way. Hit that cash up if you want to help too. Uh, try and get to New York. But anyways, back to the level one, two camp. Man, it's boring. Open dorm, walk around. Thought that was monotony. The day in, do day in, out routine of that. Wait till you go to 23 and one. 24 and one if you're lucky. Hell, you're lucky sometimes to come out in a week. Depending on how they got the lockdown going. Depending on who got killed where. Depending on who got uh, Indiana State Prison locked to their head. Depending whether a helicopter was flying in to take somebody out. You know, it depended on a lot of things, man. But the monotony of that. I met a man that did 30 some odd years and every single day he watched man, one of them soap operas just say Days of Our Lives. He was in there when the first episode aired. And within a week of his release, he got out. He watched it every single day. His entire, well, it's entire time. I want to say he had been there for maybe a year or two before it had come on air. But the man had done 45 years. 35, I don't remember, a whole lot of years. I mean, could you imagine that monotony? What you got to look forward to do is days of our lives. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to make a joke about it. It's real. You know, a lot of that stuff causes men mental problems. And then, then you, you start bucking or causing problems for COs because you're not getting something that you deserve. They want to throw you in a prison inside a prison and, that's that's that 23 24 and one if you're lucky no jokes shit's really real man that's why you never want to forget life's choices anyways i just wanted a short video for you guys just to cover some of the monotony in prison man people will try to do things and create things to pass the time and sometimes sometimes yeah it works reading working out certain things it, it works for some people but somebody that has adhd they need something to do you can ask the guys at work i can't sit still for 30 seconds let alone 30 hours imagine me in a six by eight pacing back and forth i probably did three miles a day inside of that six by eight but anyways guys Please hit that like and subscribe if you want to support me going out to New York to see Ian. Hit that cash app. Or if you want to support Cletus, free Cletus, hit that cash app and just title it. This is for Cletus. I'm going to make sure it gets to him. Uh, you guys got my word on that. But anyways, you know, if they ain't hating it, you ain't making it.